Okay, so are you ready to do a demo on cylinders? So, okay, start. I've already toned the paper, um, but the tone is pretty light for the beginning. This, um, I don't know why, I just decided that it needed to be, I think, more because um, the cylinder is like a green color, the foam that I'm using. So, um, one of the things that we want to think about when we're creating these cylinders is that, um, well, it's going to be kind of tricky, and I think just maybe just kind of look at the object, but just because the way that um, I'm using Zoom, so when it records it, it reverses the imagery, and so it's kind of confusing, I think, but Besides that, I just kind of, I'm just going to kind of give you some ideas on how to do this. So one of the things when I look at this cylinder is that I see that I can see one side of it, but I can't see the other side. And I can also see the fact that it, it's receding into the, the distance. Um, I think I'm going to try and draw a couple cylinders for you to just kind of um, help you get some ideas. So. We'll see, okay, how this works out. So, the way that I'm looking at it, I can see, let me come down a little bit further. I can see, like if this is sort of the side of it, right? And um, there's this distance. Remember the horizon, right? It's gonna fall off into the horizon. But on my angle on the side, and you can usually, I don't know if I have my, I'm not using, I, you know, I need to, I'm sorry, but I don't have any of my sight measuring sticks. I don't know where they went. Anyway, so, but there's this angle that I can see is happening here, right? Um, and if I go to the top, I can see if I were to draw like a line in the middle of this space right here of, you know, measuring my cylinder, how, deciding how far is the face going to be. So, and then like if I just take the middle, right? And then you could measure, you could sight measure it to see how tall you want, you know, how tall is this cylinder. Um, but these lines, are going to all go back to, you know, receding into the background, basically. Just want to kind of give you an idea. And I think I'm going to, there's this one, and there's this one, wall, top, it's going this way. And then you have to decide, well, how far back is, um, and you can sight measure it. You should be able to sight measure. You could sight measure each side, like how far but does it go on the bottom? How far does it go on the top? Um, those are some things that you can do. But I just want to kind of give you an idea. I think it could, I actually think it could And it's receding, right? Because that's the thing about perspective is it's going to recede into the background. Okay, to the horizon. Now, the, the next thing I want to do is I'm going to try and figure out my, um, this face right here. I know that this is the center.
remember, we can eventually we're going to lose these lines. So sort of trying to get a feel for where the line is, and we'll start losing the line, replacing it in space. Another thing is the shadow that's happening, and the shadow is going to fall in place with the um, with the whole perspective. I'm be pretty quick for this because I actually want to do a couple of demos for you. I think that you should be practicing your cylinders because um, that is one thing that I did notice. Um, there was a common struggle, it seemed like, with um, the cylinders. Okay. So I'm trying to for that perspective. It's kind of weird to um, this whole position. Well, there's a piece of paper that's running behind it, which is, I think it kind of, you know, there's these different values are what's going to, remember, we're going to lose the lines, and it's going to be the values that will um, actually begin to To tell the story. So I can see, to me, it's right about here that I can see um, something going on. There's a piece of paper. Even the paper is, um, there's some perspective happening with that piece of paper because, um, again, coming back and the paper is like it just a, it's a, oh, it's. It's a 20 pound bond, you know, something from my computer. So, I want to kind of um, bring that idea in. values are playing off of each other. I don't really think the value is that dark. I squint my eye, I see that there is some kind of darkness that's really not that dark. So I'm just really just trying to um, I really love this charcoal I'm using, but it's almost too soft, weirdly enough. Looks like it sort of goes like that. Now, what I do is I'm going to use my eraser to come in. The paper is really white. The way the, the light is putting that paper. Can you really see? Now 
Well, if I sit back here, I honestly do not, I feel this angle is actually off. I feel like I should um, back further. Kind of bleed it out. Looks like almost Almost like it's only yeah, maybe not far out. Strangely. And then on the other side, so the problem is, is I keep shifting my I'm shifting in position, my position. But this is really not. I pull back and where I'm supposed to be. So that's why I tell you when you set up, you don't want to be shifting back and forth. It just it keeps because I keep changing, almost changing my um, my perspective. But this is interesting because so it goes like this, and if I pull back here. I can't figure out how that, how does that work? How am I seeing that the angle goes, cuts so crisply across? I can see this one. I'm trying to see the back angle. The back angle says, it says it's straight. Let me erase this again. I'm just gonna try and see if I can't see it. So it comes, Oh, I see what it is. Okay, wait, wait, wait. see what it is. So it's the back. too far back. That's what it does. Okay. So let me fix that. Let me correct it. That's why I was Seeing something funny. So I can see. see this front. Lips. This I'm doing this is I want to kind of get an idea where the so like a cube. Every side of the cube is called a plane. If, even though this is not a cube form, but it's as the curve of the cylinder curves, there's a plane shift happening. So light's hit, hitting it. It's kind of casting it. So I want to kind of get my idea on that. I think I just was obsessed with the um, value of the background. 
before it was time. Doing what I'm telling everyone not to do. Sorry. Okay. So the weight of it is resting right here. I have to pull back to be able to see it because it's um Start trying to find where everything is. Give you an idea of what's happening. I mean, I'm going to just take my eraser, soften the lines, and start going to.
So interestingly enough, this one plane is in two degrees of speed. It's really hard to talk and draw at the same time. But this plane right here that we see in the end of this cone, I'm sorry, the cylinder, it's the furthest away from the light. So I'm trying to talk about that. I'm going to tell the story what I see. Pull back, kind of look at it. Let's go back in. Let's see what we see. Let's see that. Well, I think this one's just about done. I, I don't, you know, I'm going to show you a few more. You can keep working on this. You know, I could keep working on it, I should say. When you're doing your drawings, you um, definitely want to. I just did that and shouldn't have done that because I can see that the light is actually hitting kind of someplace, sometimes along the edges. Not everywhere. There are some bottom shapes happening. Um, I don't know what to tell. Like I said, you're telling the story about what you see. It's weird though, you gotta be careful because every little it's almost like God, it's like singing a song or something. It's like the tone that you keep, the way you sing, everything is communicating something. And so you may not want to say something, but if you, the um, song will say it. You emphasize, make an emphasis here, you know, hit a note here, and it starts to, um, maybe it says something you don't want it to say. And so some, you know, or sometimes it says, you know, things that maybe you didn't want it to say, and, but then it's like you, you subconsciously want to say it. It's weird. Art is weird. It's a kind of trippy things that happen in art. Okay, so that kind of gives you an idea. So um, I want to do this a few more different times, so I'm just going to kind of draw over my, my drawing to kind of show you some different thoughts. So I know we were... Use, and we are using perspective, but I think for some of you, use the perspective as far as the knowledge of the perspective is concerned, but also um, um, be a little bit freer so you're not confined into that box. Because the cylinder, the, the way it works is that ellipse that you create actually comes, seems to come out of the, the frame of the, of the um, And not necessarily come out, but it, it can't, I don't know, so I think you kind of will get caught. So you can shift it in, in and out to kind of feel your way if you need to, to make it make sense. But I saw quite a few cylinders, it seems like they just got caught in this cube and um, they look more like a cube or, and not round. And so you just have to be careful. Okay, so I'm going to draw this one. I've turned it up right. Um, it's pretty simple, right? And I'll just do it on the side here. So I find the center of it, right? And then I find the base. So let's say the base is about here. And then the height. So the height is here. And then 
and how far it goes back. So just from looking at it, I can see, um, I'm actually kind of seeing it straight across. So we're just gonna kind of draw that rectangle for the front, just for beginning, and it's not gonna stay that way. And then this will come, it will still come back. Now it all depends on where you're positioned at, you know, like, where are you in space? Are you, what I mean, are you above the cylinder? Are you below the cylinder? Is the cylinder above your eye of your horizon? Or is it below? It all depends. I can see the top, so my eye level is above it. But there's still some angles happening, and I want to talk about that. Okay, so I hope this is straight. I'm, it's really strange the way I'm drawing. I would never normally draw that way. So it's still receding. Maybe, maybe it only recedes to there. You, know, you just have to decide. And then, um, if it's crooked, I apologize. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is you're going to find your base and find and you can you know you can measure this to where you can kind of cross um, that level and right and then you're going to fill in the top right so into that elliptical shape and then I'm going to erase it remember the bottom is curved right and Pretty quick. All right. All right, let's see. Oh, it is so crooked. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just weird to draw from the side. But I think you kind of get what I'm what I'm doing, right? Okay. The next thing I want to do is I'm just going to kind of figure out my values. Now I know if I look at this one, it's light on the top. I can see a shadow here. I'm going to kind of erase. I'm going to start erasing my. I mean, because like I said, you know, you have to get rid of those lines. But at first you need to draw them. You don't need to draw them as heavy as I did. So right now I'm gonna see, so it looks like, looks like this cast shadow happening. Okay. And that shadow, God, this is beautiful charcoal, it's ridiculous. I, I don't know where I got it from, but. I think I bought it from Blick and I got like those little boxes of them. Okay, so here's this, this is going on here. This is the top, this is the side, and there's definitely this darker thing happening here on one side. Now I'm gonna take my eraser. So it looks kind of messy right now, right? And I'm going to, I'm going to soften my lines and then go back in. Let's see what the heck I'm drawing. It's really weird. Okay. All right. First of all, let's see. There's light hitting in that angle, right? And then there's light. In the top angle. I really like my Anita the racer. It's you really just you want to like knead it and just keep squishing it until it um just becomes much more pliable, I guess. Okay, so gosh, you have to be so careful when you these drawings and this stuff all needs to disappear any kind of line I don't want it I, mean, I want my value to be so I look I'm gonna look some more I feel like, I feel like this is
We have a darkest and um, space. and give me an idea. See. All right, well, that's, that's pretty decent. Let's see what it looks like. It's kind of weird, but um, I think it's crooked. I don't know. I can't tell from this angle. All right, so there's one right there. Another one, you could just kind of know, you got to just use your perspective that you know it's going to recede into the background, just like this one, you know, goes back. It's, it's wider at the base depending on what's closest to you and then you create that space but you all you know you also want to think about the values okay all right so this is enough for this i want everyone just to be practicing you know practice those cylinders sometimes it's strangely enough it's going to be kind of squished you know like you know the angle depending on where you're at but you know that the angle is you know much longer than that but because of a thing called foreshortening, it just it will like squish the form. I mean, it can even be, I'm drawing some to kind of give you an example. It can be so close because you're so close to it. And it's like, you know that it's way longer than that, but it's just, it's just that's what it looks like from where you're at. And you know, you just have to, not necessarily listen to your brain, but look and just draw what you see. 
Okay. All right. I want you to practice cylinders this week. And um, there's two drawings I'm going to ask from you. I'm going to ask that you do um, a cylinder drawing, and then I want you to draw all the objects um, the cube, the cylinder, the cone, and um, the sphere. And just kind of practice uh, this week. And next week, um, we will start uh, working on one week of textures. Well, that's it. Thank you so much.